China is building things so fast and with such advanced technology that it feels like they are living in the future, while the rest of the world can only watch in amazement. From skyscrapers going up in just a few days to entire parks made with 3D printing, floating airports, and the use of AR technology in construction, China's projects show just how far ahead they are. One example is the Huajiang Canyon Bridge. This bridge is being built over 2,000 feet above the ground, making it the highest bridge in the world. Because of how high it is, regular construction equipment like cranes couldn't be used. So, Chinese engineers created a special solution. They built the world's largest cable crane system. These cranes moved along cables and helped lift and place huge parts of the bridge, with each part weighing up to 21,000 tons. They used smart technology, like the Internet of Things and China's own satellite navigation system, to make sure every piece fit perfectly. The bridge even has smart cables that can monitor its condition in real time. It's a true engineering masterpiece. Another incredible project is called Mini Sky City. In 2015, China built a 57-story skyscraper in just 19 days. That's not years or months, just days. They used modular construction, which means all the building parts were made ahead of time in a factory and then put together on site, like a giant Lego set. This made the construction extremely fast and efficient. The company behind this project now plans to build a 220-story skyscraper using the same method. That's more than three times taller than Mini Sky City, showing how bold their goals are. Then there's the amazing relocation of the Huari Shikuman complex. This was a historic building that stood in the way of a new underground development. Instead of tearing it down, Chinese engineers came up with a creative idea. Move the entire building. They lifted the 8,270-ton complex using robotic hydraulic jacks and slowly walked it to a new location. This allowed them to build a shopping center, parking lot, and subway lines underneath without destroying a piece of history. These projects are just a few examples of how China is combining smart technology, creative problem-solving, and bold ideas to transform the way things are built. Chinese engineers moved the entire Huai Shikuman building using robotic hydraulic jacks that lifted and gently walked the structure to a new location. This allowed underground construction for a shopping center, subway access, and parking to take place without destroying the historic building. Once the work was done, the entire complex was moved back to its original spot. It's a brilliant example of how innovation can protect history while still making space for modern development. Another stunning example of China's forward-thinking approach is the Kila Power Station. Built in a high-altitude region with freezing temperatures and strong winds, this power plant combines both hydro and solar energy sources. Covering over 170 million square feet, the station uses massive fields of solar panels alongside hydroelectric facilities to generate up to 1 gigawatt of renewable power. It's currently the largest hydro-solar hybrid plant in the world and is expected to produce even more energy as it nears completion. Building something this massive, and at such extreme conditions, shows just how far China's engineering and green energy technology have come. To deal with noise and dust pollution at construction sites, China has come up with another smart idea, using inflatable construction domes. These giant air-filled structures cover entire building areas. They reduce loud machinery sounds and prevent dust or other harmful particles from escaping into the environment. Inside, the air can be cleaned using filters. This method is not only better for nearby residents but also healthier for workers. It shows how China is addressing urban challenges with clean, effective solutions. One of the most artistic examples of modern Chinese architecture is the Fosun Foundation Cultural Center. What makes this building unique is its kinetic facade. Essentially, parts of the outer walls can move. These curtain-like metal panels shift so slowly that the building looks a little different each time you see it. Over time, they create beautiful wave patterns that change with the light and weather. But the design isn't just for looks. Depending on what's happening inside, like a concert, an exhibit, or a public event, the moving panels can be adjusted to open up the view or provide privacy. It's a stunning combination of art, technology, and function. Then there's the AICT 3D Printed Park, a groundbreaking project that takes 3D printing to a whole new level. 
Spanning nearly 60,000 square feet, the entire park was built using giant 3D printers with concrete as the main material. Everything from benches and sculptures to flower beds and retaining walls was printed with smooth, flowing designs that give the park a futuristic look. Even more impressive, the entire park was finished in just two and a half months, and the cost was much lower than using traditional construction methods. China is clearly making 3D printing a key part of its building strategy, while much of the world is still just beginning to explore it. And finally, there's the incredible 3D printed pedestrian bridge in Shanghai. You might not expect a bridge to be built entirely by machines, but that's exactly what happened. This bridge stretches nearly 86 feet, making it the largest 3D printed bridge in the world. It was built in just 450 hours using two robotic arms, and its sides have graceful wave-like designs that match the scenery around it. It's not just functional, it's also beautiful. From moving entire buildings and building bridges with robots to creating parks with 3D printers and blending architecture with art, China is leading the world in construction innovation. These projects aren't just impressive, they're redefining what's possible. The 3D printed pedestrian bridge in Shanghai wasn't just made quickly, it was smartly designed, too. The main part of the bridge was built using 44 hollow concrete pieces, and the handrails were created from 66 separate parts. Like other 3D printed projects in China, it cost less money and took less time to complete than using traditional building methods. But China's innovation doesn't stop at bridges. The Anji Culture and Art Center is one of the latest examples of how futuristic their architecture has become. This massive structure is designed to look like floating bamboo leaves, combining natural beauty with modern design. The roof will be made of gently curving white metal panels that will appear to hover in the air. What makes it even more impressive is that the building will collect and reuse rainwater to cool itself naturally, reducing the need for traditional air conditioning. The entire site will cover more than 1.29 million square feet, and it's expected to be completed soon. It's not just beautiful, it's smart, sustainable, and huge. And if that wasn't incredible enough, China has even bigger dreams. In Wuhan, they are planning to build the Phoenix Towers, a pair of super-tall buildings. One of them will rise up to an unbelievable 3,300 feet, making it the second tallest structure in the world. But it's not just about height. These towers will be built on an island in the middle of a lake, surrounded by water. Their outer surfaces will be covered in solar panels, and they'll also generate energy using wind, heat, hydrogen fuel cells, and biomass boilers. On top of that, one of the towers will have the highest garden in the world at its peak. It's a project that looks like something from science fiction, and China is turning it into reality. China is also transforming how entire cities handle nature with something called sponge city landscaping. Instead of letting water run off into drains or flood streets, these cities are built to absorb and reuse rainwater naturally. They include rain gardens, green roofs, wetlands, sunken parks, and dense urban forests. These elements don't just make the cities greener, they help fight floods, recharge underground water, and support a wide range of plants and animals. Even the sidewalks are made to let rain soak through into the ground. Cities like Kunli, Shanghai's Lingang area, and the Zhuhai Hengqin Free Trade Zone have already used this idea. It's working so well that these places are now more flood-resistant, more biodiverse, and more sustainable than ever before. And then there's the Dalian Jinshuan Airport, another masterpiece of engineering. While most airports are built on land or existing islands, China decided to build an entirely new island just for this airport, out in the sea. Construction started back in 2011, and it's expected to be fully completed by 2026. Once operational, it will be the largest floating offshore airport in the world. It's a bold move, but China is making it happen. Creating a brand new island and turning it into an international airport shows just how far their engineering has come. All these projects, from floating airports and sponge cities to sky-high towers and 3D printed bridges, show that China is not just building for today. They're shaping the future with every project, combining technology, sustainability, and creativity in ways the rest of the world is still catching up to. China continues to lead the world in innovation, 
especially when it comes to large-scale construction. One impressive example is the Yongtsu 3D printed dam project. This dam is planned to be built on the Tibetan Plateau and will stand 590 feet tall. While the size might sound typical for a dam, what makes it extraordinary is how it will be constructed. The entire structure will be 3D printed from the ground up using large-scale machines, similar to a home 3D printer, but on a massive level. These machines will pour and shape concrete layer by layer, building the dam piece by piece. But there's more. Every piece of construction equipment involved in the project, like cranes, trucks, and bulldozers, will be fully controlled by artificial intelligence. There will be no human drivers or operators. The machines will work together smoothly without getting in each other's way, meaning no delays and fewer risks. The entire project is expected to be finished in under two years, which is incredibly fast for a dam of this size. If successful, this will show the world that huge structures like dams can be built more quickly, safely, and efficiently using 3D printing and AI. This could change the future of construction worldwide. And China isn't stopping there. Their entire approach to building things is transforming in ways that still seem futuristic to many people. One major change is how China is using modular assembly. You may have seen this with the Mini Sky City Building, which was assembled in only 19 days. But China wants to make this technique standard, using it for more than just skyscrapers. Now, modular construction is being used to create everything from high-rise buildings and stadiums to bridges and regular homes. In this method, parts of a building are made in a factory and then brought to the site to be put together, like Lego blocks or puzzle pieces. There are already companies in China that specialize in this type of construction. You can even order a fully built home that will be delivered to your land and assembled in a day. These modular homes are fast to build, affordable, and just as strong as traditionally built homes. There's really no downside. China is showing the world that construction doesn't need to take years or cost a fortune. It can be quick, efficient, and just as reliable. Through AI, 3D printing, and modular building, China is redefining how the world thinks about construction. While many countries are still relying on old methods, China is racing ahead with futuristic techniques that are already becoming normal across the country. Some modular buildings, especially the more complex ones, can be completed and fully operational within just a week or two. That leads many to ask, is this how construction will be done in the future? The answer is very likely yes. There are simply too many advantages, speed, cost, and efficiency. While that alone is impressive, there's another method China is pioneering that's even more astonishing. It's called self-climbing formwork. At first glance, it looks like a machine crawling up the side of a building, but there's much more going on behind the scenes. In construction, a formwork is like a mold where concrete is poured and shaped into the final structure. With this system, the formwork doesn't stay in one place. Instead, it climbs up floor by floor as the building rises. This is usually done using a hydraulic system that allows the mold to lift itself after a level is completed. This method lets construction teams build one entire story at a time and then immediately move on to the next. It saves time and simplifies the whole process. The only real limitation is that it works best for buildings where each floor has the same layout, something that's very common in residential and office buildings. Still, the technology shows just how far human creativity and engineering can go when it comes to building more efficiently. And that's not all. China has also revolutionized how railway tracks are laid, especially for its high-speed train network. Instead of relying on manual labor, China now uses a system they call super high-speed rail track laying. These massive machines handle nearly the entire process on their own. Everything from laying the gravel foundation, called ballast, to placing the metal rails and the fasteners is done automatically. The setup involves several machines working together in sync, like rail sorters, push roller recovery vehicles, and tractors. Most of the process is controlled by artificial intelligence, with very little human input. Because of this, the rail laying speed is remarkable. China has already achieved two kilometers of track laid per day, and they're aiming for even faster results by developing a fully automated system that can run non-stop, day and night.
And when it comes to digging tunnels, China is also far ahead. Like many countries, China uses tunnel boring machines, TBMs. But theirs are on another level in terms of size and technology. These machines are enormous, hundreds of feet long, and powerful enough to dig wide tunnels big enough for multi-lane highways all in one pass. The closest rival might be machines from the U.S., like Bertha, but China's TBMs are known for their advanced features and high efficiency. These machines allow for large-scale tunnel projects to be completed more quickly and with greater precision. Whether it's for subways, highways, or even undersea tunnels, China's boring machines are a key part of its rapid infrastructure development. In all these ways, China is showing what's possible when a country fully commits to innovation in construction. They're not just imagining the future; they're building it right now. China has designed its tunnel boring machines to handle the tough underground conditions of the region. These machines are built to survive harsh environments while continuing to work smoothly and efficiently. Many of them are also modular, which means they can be taken apart and transported easily. And thanks to artificial intelligence, their performance is even more impressive. These smart machines can work faster and more accurately than ever before. Leaving the rest of the world behind in tunnel construction technology, but tunnel boring is just one example. Another surprising advancement is how China uses drones in construction. Drones are no longer just for filming or small deliveries. China has made them part of everyday operations. In rural areas, farmers use drones to carry crops across difficult mountain terrain. Firefighters use them to reach dangerous fire zones. And now. Construction companies are using drones to move heavy materials like solar panels across challenging landscapes. What's even more interesting is that China has developed special drones designed to carry heavier loads up to high places. While they do have limits in terms of weight, they make up for it with speed and convenience. In one impressive case, drones were used to help build a bridge in southwest China. They carried cables between two sides of the bridge. Something that would normally require a lot of complex equipment or put workers at risk. Instead, the drones handled it quickly and safely. Speaking of bridges, China has also figured out a clever way to build them without disturbing traffic. Normally, when a bridge is being built over a road, that road needs to be shut down. But China does it differently. They build the bridge deck off to the side of the road where it won't get in the way. Once the bridge is ready. They rotate it into place using powerful hydraulics. This rotation connects the bridge seamlessly to the rest of the structure without ever needing to stop traffic below. It's efficient, smart, and convenient. Of course, building also involves more basic tasks like laying bricks. China has taken automation to that level too. They've developed bricklaying robots powered by AI. These machines don't need brakes. Work quickly. And place bricks with extreme precision. Thanks to these robots, the speed and quality of brick laying have improved dramatically. They don't even need extra tools or machines to help them. Just the bricks and mortar, and they're good to go. And after the bricks are in place, plastering is next. China has also created robots that can plaster walls in just a few minutes. These machines can apply cement and smooth it out with perfect accuracy. Although this technology hasn't replaced human workers entirely yet, it's getting close. With continued development, China may soon have fully automated construction sites where everything, from digging foundations to finishing walls, is done by machines. Another futuristic material changing the construction world is self-healing concrete. It might sound like science fiction, but this material can actually fix its own cracks. It contains special bacteria that produce calcium carbonate, a natural material that fills in cracks as they form. That means fewer repairs, longer-lasting structures, and lower maintenance costs. China has started using self-healing concrete in real-world projects. A great example is the Shanghai Highway, where this special asphalt prevents potholes from forming. They're also using it in sidewalks, bridges, and buildings. It adds durability and strength while cutting down on the time and money usually spent on repairs. So, with all these innovations, robotic systems, smart machines, futuristic materials, and incredible construction methods, it's clear that China is pushing the limits of what's possible in the building industry.
It makes you wonder if we're watching the future of construction happen right before our eyes.